My name is Carolyn Tobinson. I was in the U.S. Army. I served for three years. It was interesting because when I was in basic training in the Army, they were starting to get ready to do co-ed basic training, so I was in one of the last women-only battalions. So we had a large bay of 40 women. We all bunked together, and it was um, very interesting because they couldn't do any extra PET on us, and we had to um, just do very basic for physical. So unlike most people in basic training that lose a lot of weight, most of us put on 10 to 20 pounds. Um, when I enlisted, I was 18 years old and I graduated high school the year earlier. And at the time, I just wasn't ready to go to college and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But I talked to several um, other veterans and the Army recruiters and I thought that that would be something that I would like to pursue. Well, a long time ago, like I said, it was different when it, being in just the women only area and then they went to co-ed training. My daughter is also an Army veteran and the difference between her basic training and my basic training were completely different because hers was all co-ed. Uh, we did um, a longer training time um, and I don't know that it's as long for each of the schools now and it's more intense, I believe, now in training than what it was 40 some years ago. I would think one of the most interesting and kind of sobering moments was when I was first stationed in Germany and the wall was still up between East and West Germany and part of the orientation was we rode a bus out to the wall to see um, what it was out there and it was just a little unsettling to see the the guard post up there and manned by somebody with his ready with his rifle you don't see something like that in the United States so it really was uh, just a little bit un unnerving while I was active duty I was um, I had training in San Antonio Texas and then I went to Oklahoma for my first duty station then to Germany, and I actually got out of the Army in Germany. Life in the Army was interesting. It's, it's almost comparable to living in a small town, which I do now, and, uh, but you form friendships fast because everybody comes from somewhere else, and so everybody has a story. I think that was probably the most fun, and also just jumping in and doing the work, and we all were on the same team. It's, sometimes it was hard to keep up. Um, uh, my funny story from basic training was when we were qualifying with the rifles, uh, there was a silhouette downrange and it had the papers with the different silhouettes, but they weren't numbered. So when we were firing and we had to move to the next silhouette, after a while, I lost track which silhouettes we were supposed to be aiming at. So that was harder for me and shooting a weapon was a little more challenging and trying to throw a grenade was very challenging. But um, that's, that's basically the difference. Well, after I got out, um, I had married somebody else in the Army that was career. So I was still part of the Army, more as a military wife than as a soldier. And we did the 20 years, and I, I enjoyed being a military wife. I loved helping other wives um, acclimate to where our duty stations were and, and doing different things like that. And then when my husband retired, from the Army, moving back to Illinois was, um, that was a big difference from military life. But soon it was, it was nice in the same sense that it was a small town. It was kind of like being around the military. So as we got to know people, it, it wasn't terrible, but so many people didn't understand what military life was like. So that was a bit of a transition. There are, there, we made a lot of friendships and, um, I have not been the best at keeping up with them, but of course, are thankful to Facebook. We can you know, still communicate with friends all over the world. My family was very accepting of me joining the Army, um, and they supported me, so I was thankful for that. And um, it was really rewarding when my daughter also joined the Army after some college years. And it was interesting to you know, be supportive of her the way my family was supportive of me. It is very rewarding to serve my country and it's, it's, um, I continue to do so through the American Legion and that's, um, that makes a lot of things worthwhile.
we do the honor guard for uh, veterans that pass away and that's kind of one of the biggest um, honors that I get to do as a veteran. Thank you. Thank you.